So let's go over some of the basics of exponents. So on your piece of paper, you can go ahead and write exponents. So let's go over some of the basic rules. So one of the first rules is that if you're multiplying exponents, so say I have a squared times a to the third power, you add the exponents. So it would be a, two, plus three. So it would be a to the fifth power. So the note you wanna write is when you multiply, you add the exponents, okay? The next rule is that when you're dividing, so say I have a to the fifth power over a squared. This is a division problem. It's the same as saying a to the fifth power divided by a squared. When you're dividing, you subtract the exponents. So it'd be five minus two. So you're left with a to the third power. So let's just do two problems where we're multiplying and we're dividing using those rules. So let's go ahead and do x to the fourth power times x to the third power. Again, when you multiply, you add the exponent. So x four plus three. So it'd be x to the seventh power. Now, if we were dividing the same two numbers, x to the fourth divided by x to the three, instead of adding the two numbers, we'd be subtracting. So it would be x to the fourth minus three. It would be x to the first power. So when we multiply, you add the exponents, and when you divide, you subtract the exponents. Okay, so now let's continue on with our lesson in exponents because we don't have to make this too confusing for us to learn. I want you guys to be able to learn in a relaxed setting, so let's continue. So if you have 4x, you know, let's just stick with, let's just say x to the fourth power in parentheses with two on the outside. Okay, so you're going to multiply the four times the two. So anytime you have an exponent on the outside of the parentheses, you multiply it by the exponent on, on the inside of the parentheses. So you would do x four times two, and that will be x to the eighth power. So if I asked you guys what y to the third power in parentheses with a three on the outside, what answer would you get? Okay, if you multiply those, you would be y, 3 times 3, y to the ninth power. Okay, what about y to the negative 1 power times negative 1? So, again, you would multiply. So, it would be y, negative 1 times negative 1. And negative 1 times negative 1 is y to the first power. So, now, we've practiced... A few things with exponents. We practiced multiplying with exponents, dividing with exponents, and exponents when you are dealing with the parentheses and the exponent outside of the parentheses. So what I'm going to do in my next video is I'm going to put these three types of rules together so that we can go over some practice problems. How do you guys like that? How does that sound? Okay, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.